गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स स्टडी विद अपाल इंजीनियरिंग एंड जनरल जियोलॉजी पर विंसिंग बुक चैप्टर फोर जियोलॉजिकल वर्क ऑफ वाटर सो ओरिजन ऑफ रीफ फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कोरल रीफ्स प्रेजेंस ऑफ द री फॉर्मिंग सी ऑर्गेनिज्म द कोरल्स एंड द एंड दैट टू इन गुड अबेंडेंस इन इज अ बेसिक इज रिक्वायरमेंट इट मे बी मैंशनड हेयर दैट द कोरल्स डू नॉट थ्राइव in all the seas or in all parts of the same seas they are also known to grow profusely only in the relatively the warm waters 68 to 78 degree fahrenheit temperature and all depth ranging between 20 to 60 meters the sea water should be clear and saltish means salt quantity is high the direction of wind is also known to exert considerable influence on the growth of the corals so corals grow in colonies and requires the platforms for making a holes of their growth once the pro, uh, favorable condition as mentioned as are available so the corals start growing and multiplying profusely their dead parts go on accumulations in close by area as a heaps and thus the development of a reef is started the origins of a huge coral reef is not uh, as simple as outlined above some really is a difficult questions need satisfactory explanations for instance when we know that corals cannot grow below a depth of say 80 meters how to ex- explain formations of a as a big coral deposit as having a depth of 1 uh, 1200 meters so the classic theory of a darwin suggests that the coral reef are formed on a subside subsiding or sinking platform he attributes the subsidence to earthquake according to darwin the three types of reef the fringing reef the barrier reef and the atoll actually represent three stage in the development of a single reef deposits delhi has however suggest delhi scientist has uh, however suggest origin of such reef on the basis of glacial controls theory according to him the submergence of an old reef framework is due to rise in the sea levels because of melting of ice in the interglacial period of pleistocene ice age it seems that both of these theories of origins of reef are correct and hold good in different cases subsidence of platforms for one's reasons or the others is the crucial point which is considered essential economic importance reef have acquired a considerable strategic and economic importance during the recent year strategically some of the reef deposit are idle as air bases in the vast expense of sea economically the old reef are known to be the source rock for the oil deposit at some places thank you